requirement traceability metrics is used for waterfall project, for the projects which are big in nature, for the projects which are predictive in nature. The reason for that is because the projects are long, customer changes, people changes, project manager is changing. So there are set of requirements. And by the time you get to the end, you end up giving some other requirement to the customer. The deliverables are something else. To ensure that you delivered all the requirement which was signed off, you delivered 100% of the 100% of the requirement till you come to the closure of the project after six years or so. We use requirement traceability metrics. What is it? So the, this is an IT requirement traceability metrics when we used to use waterfall model or you know incremental model. Um, we get the requirement. Each requirement has uh, a number, and then there might be some you know use cases. We used to use use cases or story ID or whatever, and each requirement would have a description. For example, first requirement is registration and then we are making a website or the management website so registration of um, consumer registration of customer registration of administrator registration of this so so many registration um, who's gonna say the requirement is closed or who's gonna sign off we write a person name let's say john um, then my designer or architect gonna design the requirement. So he would write a design document and he says registration here at some, some location. And he would ensure that all these registration requirements are met. Somebody else gonna be doing a low level design wherein he would define the coders or developers to write down the code. So LLD for each design, for each registration page, you might have a, you know, a different design document or a different page. Um, and the coder gonna write, developer gonna write some code, ASPX or C sharp or whichever code. So they would design the code here. And then testers gonna write whether the testing, you know, registration is working or not. So each tester gonna have some ID. So test case one, test case 1.2 and so on. And then acceptance test cases are from the customer. So customer gonna say, okay, whether the registration of customer is happening, yes or no, and so on. So each acceptance test case 1.1, 1.2 and so on. So that way we end up tracing the requirement till the closure, till the acceptance of the um, you know, requirement. So that's a normal use, normal traceability metrics for the uh, IT industry. You can have different traceability metrics for different industries. The idea for traceability metrics, requirement should be traced till the closure, traced and mapped and delivered till the end.